Hello friends, this video on ratio and proportion part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned about ratios, let's look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Out of 30 students in a class, 6 like football, 12 like cricket and remaining like tennis. Okay. So how many like football? 6 like football, 12 like cricket. And how many like tennis? Tennis is remaining. So remaining would be how much? So uh, total student is 30. So from 30 you subtract all those who like football and cricket. So this would be 30 minus 18 which is 12. So 12 like tennis. So in the first part we have to find out the number of students liking football to the number of students liking tennis. So number of students liking football to number of students liking tennis. So how many likes football? 6. How many likes tennis? 12. So this is 6 by 12. So is it in its simplest form? No, not really. Because they have highest common factor and the highest common factor is 6. Therefore you divide both the terms by 6. So this becomes 1 by 2. That is equal to 1 is to Two. Therefore, the ratio of number of students liking football to the number of students liking tennis would be 1 is to 2. In a similar way, let's look at the second one. Number of students liking cricket to total number of students. So, number of students liking cricket to the total number of students. So, cricket is 12 and total number of students is 30. So, 12 by 30. Again, this is also not in its simplest form. So, let's find out the HCF. So factors for 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Factors for 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 30. So which is the highest common factor? That is 6. So you divide the numerator and the denominator by 6. So you get 2 by 5. So this is 2 is to 5. Question number two. Distances travelled by Hamid and Akhtar in an hour are 9 km and 12 km. Okay. So, Hamid covered 9 km and Akhtar covered 12 km. Find the ratio of speed of Hamid to the speed of Akhtar. So, this is the distance travelled is 9 km. And in how much time? In an hour. So, that means speed of Hamid is 9 km per hour. Similarly, speed of Akhtar is 12 km per hour. That's because we know that speed is equal to total distance travelled divided by total time taken. So, they have covered 9 km in 1 hour and again 12 km in 1 hour respectively. So, these would be their speeds. So, we have to find out the ratio of speed of Hamid to the speed of Akhtar. So, this would be equal to 9 by 12. Both are in the same unit. So, that's not a problem. Now, again, here do you think they have uh, any common factor? Yes, they do have common factors. Let's quickly write. Factors for 9 are 1, 3, 9. For 12, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So, which is the highest common factor? That is 3. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by 3. This would be 3 by 4 which is equal to 3 is to 4. So 3 is to 4 is the ratio of Hamid's speed to Akhtar's speed. Question number 3. Find the ratio of 30 minutes to 1.5 hours. Okay. So we have two different quantities. One quantity is 30 minutes. The other quantity is 1.5 hours and we have to find their ratio. Now we know that in whenever we are dealing with ratio, the two quantities must be in the same units. So here the unit is minutes. Here the unit is hours. So how do we convert it? We need to convert one of these. So let's say that we decide to convert hours into minutes. So 1.5 hours would mean how many minutes? So we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So therefore 1.5 hours would be 1.5 into 60 minutes. So that is equal to 90 minutes. 
so now when we find out the ratio we have both the quantities in minutes 30 minutes divided by 90 minutes now look at 30 by 90 do you think it is in its simplest form no so if you, when you find out its highest common factor now for bigger numbers it is little difficult to write down all the factors so you can use the prime factorization technique that is for the number 30 prime factorize it 2 into 15 and then 3 into 5 similarly for 90 if you do prime factorization it would be 2 into 45 3 into 15 3 into 5 so you can write 30 as 2 into 3 into 5. So 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5. 90 can be written as 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. Right? So which is the highest common factor and the highest common factor would be all product of all the common terms. So 2, 3, 5. So 2 into 3 into 5 is common for both of these. So 2 into 3 into 5 is what? It is 30. So we get that the HCF of 30 and 90 would be 30. So you divide it by 30. So it becomes 1 by 3. So prime factorization technique is one way in which you can solve it easily. So another way of doing this is 30 by 90. 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5. 90 can be written as 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. So 5 and 5 will get cancelled. 3 and 3 will get cancelled. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So you are left with 1 by 3. So you can go for any of these ways to simplify a ratio. So here the final ratio is 1 is to 3. So 1 is to 3 would be your answer. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.